All right. Looks like we're live. Today we have with us the founders of Psy Options, Tommy Johnson and Taylor Johnson, the killer twin brothers. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll leave it off to you guys. Take take the show away. Yeah, so just want to give some high-level updates. Um, so, you know, since the hackathon, we started the hackathon with a, you know, simple idea of how we could build options on chain. And like the main focus was to bring a traditional finance feel to DeFi. And the only way we we realized we could do that is, is by bringing options to an order book and, and building it on top of Serum and Solana. So it worked out well for the hackathon. Um, however, when we originally came up with the protocol, and put some architecture, um, or, you know, started designing the original architecture, you know, we kind of had a little bit of an understanding of how Solana's runtime worked uh, from the first hackathon, but really like not the best understanding of how we could architect something like this. So in order to get something off the ground, we just picked the first architecture and ran with it, which ended up being a pretty bad idea. Um, so the first architecture that we built was not scalable, limited the number of options someone could create, um, and ultimately just uh, would be more expensive and slow. Uh, so since the hackathon, we actually refactored the entire, the entire uh, protocol, pretty much wrote the whole thing from scratch, same instruction set, but, but now it's able to scale and uses SPLs to, to denote writers and things like that. Um, Tom, I don't know if you have anything to add on, on you know, how that refactor went. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was it was definitely necessary, and now you can have option markets with unlimited. We're kind of using like a two token based system, so you'll see in our documentation that we have when you go to mint an option, you get an option token, and then you also get a writer token. Um, we'll go over that in the live demo, but um, so the option token is what you actually sell, and that denotes the uh, the contract for someone to have the option to to swap their quote asset for your underlying asset that you put into the pool. Um, I'm wishing anchor. Yeah. I'm wishing we went with anchor cause we're going to have another refactor coming up here soon. Cause you know, anchor is the way to go from what we're seeing now. Um, but we're, we're just sticking with this for, for V1 for now. Um, I, I guess we'll jump into the other updates too. We finally pulled someone on to, to manage the Twitter account, run, media and community who's doing a killer job stock mart uh unfortunately he's sick with COVID right now but uh he's been really helping us out taylor and i were running the twitter during the hackathon and we're just engineers like we're not good at that stuff we had no idea what we were doing um and then we also pulled on a couple more community contributors uh working on uh tracking psi options and serum data so we can give uh trade history pnl all that kind of longer term data that you can't really just pull on chain um, or store on chain and pull from the chain. Um, and once we get that up and running, I'm, we know that's a, a feature request. A lot of the people who've been in the early alpha um, have been asking for is they really want to see a nice comprehensive dashboard for their, their current risk, um, their PL and their trade history among the Greeks and other things. Um, and then I'll give one more Taylor and you can go through the rest of the bullets, but uh, we also had myself and our other engineers have put in our notice and quit our jobs. So we are going to be taking Psy options on full time. Uh, to Let's really get go, this baby. I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's been a long time coming, but uh, I mean, I think we talked Tristan back in October and said, oh, I really want to get into it. Here we are, you know, diving yeah. full, full into it. Um, That's worth mentioning, I think. Like the reason these guys are building <laughs> is because we all went surfing together and I just shield Solana like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and, and luckily it cracked Solana into <laughs> I was like, oh, Tristan, we're just sitting in the water. Waves weren't that great. I'm like, Tristan, how do I get involved? Like, I need to get involved. You know, we tried. That, that was what, back in October, September? And then we, yeah, we August. did the first. I think it was oh. August. I don't know. Sometime, like, in the, towards the end of the fall. And it was just, like, wild to think, like, uh, you know, we had that one conversation. We had been playing with Solano before that. And then we entered the first hackathon just doing, like, an Oracle. Didn't really have anything come out of that had another project that we tried, didn't really go anywhere. And then, you know, so it's, you know, message to everyone else who's watching this and getting involved, like, like just keep keep coming up with ideas, keep throwing shit at the wall until you see something that sticks. Um, we were just getting up and running on Solana. I mean, to give a background for those who don't know why we started PsyOption is uh, we wanted to automate a, uh, a triple income strategy in traditional finance, which is really a yield generation strategy 
uh, using your you know, US dollars or your actual stock to, to sell covered calls or cash secured puts to generate yield. Um, and we asked the brokerage for API access. They shot us down and talked to us like we were idiots. And we're like, all right, well, if we built options into the blockchain, everyone would have API access inherently built in and anyone can run any automated strategy they want. And that was kind of like, why don't we just build options on Solana? Serum's already an order book. You know, Solana's handling the throughput and the low block times. You can give a true traditional options feel um, on the blockchain. And so that was really the genesis too of, of how we pivoted and said, let's just start writing options. Um, give us a demo. We want a demo. <laughs> Taylor will we cover got, the rest. Go through the yeah, rest we, of the updates. Then we'll go through the yeah. demo. Okay. A few, a few more, few more high level updates. Um, so a couple of other things we did that are like seem minor, but you know, pretty, pretty important for onboarding community, things like that. Like we set up documentation. So it's at docs.sciOptions.io. Uh, so like if you're in our private alpha, you can, you know, read more on how to set up wallets and stuff there. And then also see, you know, our instruction set and kind of how to get started if, if you're, um, if you're trying to develop on top of SciOptions. Um, more, more on that later. Um, so, and on that note, you know, open source a JavaScript package uh, that has like our instruction bindings and things like that. So any front ends that want to, want to make calls to, to SciOptions protocol, they can, you know, more easily do it. Uh, in terms of where the protocol is at, you know, we're currently at, or in product, we're currently in private alpha. Um, so onboarding more people every day into that. Uh, so if you're in our discord, feel free to at TJ or at Tom John, and we're happy to, to have more people, um, you know, joining that and providing feedback. We want, we want this thing to be as community driven as possible. Uh, we had a peer review, definitely looking to get a formal audit. Um, and, and want more people looking at our code, just now it's, it's up to par. Um, <clears throat> and then we've also actually started onboarding some market makers uh, and helping them get onboarded for Psy Options and Serum trading. Um, that's kind of been one of our biggest focus. I think that's something that's pretty lacking in the, in the um, you know, Solana Serum ecosystem right now. And so I think the more, the more institutions and the more, the more market makers that we can bring on, the better liquidity for Serum, the better liquidity for Psy Options, And, you know, we can hopefully get the Solana DeFi ecosystem to just become more robust. I think that's, that's been a big uh, portion of our time aside from development is really talking to market makers, learning what their needs are, learning, learning what their wants are, um, and then just kind of talking through them about their current infrastructure and how they can get up and running and, and what they need from us. Um, because without liquidity, the products, you know, not very useful. So that's a, that's a big thing we're trying to time together here is, is the product as well as making sure that there is liquidity. Um, but yeah. Yep. So if you have anything else, should we jump into a demo unless Tristan has other questions? Yeah, I have, I have, I don't have a question. I just have a compliment. People are loving the Victorian style strong man <laughs> mustache, Tay, Tommy. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Gotta keep rocking it, dude. That's the I'm highlight not, here. I'm not paying attention to the comments, dude. so I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm trying to get him to keep it for, uh, for BTC Miami next week. I think I have to. If those keep comments it. Keep you have to keep in, it. Yeah. You have to keep yeah. it. <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll throw a poll out on Twitter and see what people think after, <laughs> after we close this live stream out. Yeah, Taylor Taylor was like, I have this cowboy hat back at like my parents' house, and I was like, man, I wish I had the cowboy hat. I'd rock the cowboy hat, the mustache, and walk around BTC in Miami. Uh, Do it. You'll get, you'll get all the investors in on Psy Options. They'll be like, damn, this guy's got some balls. We're we're investing here. All right, show <laughs> us the demo, guys. Sorry for stealing time. <laughs> all good. Let me just share my screen here. All righty. Are we up? We're up. Awesome. All right. So the, the, the landing page hasn't really changed much. We're working with actually another update. We're working with a few designers to actually start hashing out an actual landing page, fix our open position page. We'll go more into that later. Um, there were a lot of like issues getting up and running with like RPC nodes and all that kind of stuff because there was rate limiting and you know you have no idea what those rate limits look like and all that. Um, and so one actually like unique thing, just a, a tidbit for all those other developers out there is we used a, um, and shout out to Bitsushi, our homie for uh, suggesting the solution. We use a uh, service worker that actually queues requests. So that way, 
we, you know, we're not pounding a bunch of asynchronous requests and we don't have to change our application code at all. Um, and it just really cleaned up all those issues where you see like a course error and it's really just coming from uh, too many request response from the RPC node. So that's your developer tip, but uh, similar, we changed some of the fonts, some of the, U, like some of the UI, we put uh, the implied volatility calculation in there for the bids and asks. Um, this looks a little bare right now because we literally just reset the alpha after one of our faucets was were drained. So if you're looking at, you know, setting up an alpha or a beta and for the community, like there's definitely some points we can share there. Maybe a blog post coming. Um, we added phantom support so long math because we were really just running with Solit uh, originally. Um, and once we're connected, we can actually see the buy and sell to open up the dialogue. Uh, we have various, we allow for various contract sizes for different um, assets. This is still a work in progress. This is like one of those things that we're working with like market makers and other um, people who are very big options traders of you know, what kind of sizes do you want to see? How, how should this function? Um, but so, for example, for BTC, we just have one. Uh, so it takes the underlying is really Tommy, just can you make BTC. this full screen, please? Yeah. How's that? That's good. I don't know if I zoom in. Okay. Um, so... So uh, not much of this has changed. We added some color though, which really looks beautiful. Um, and then really did a lot of work here for the buy sell dialogue. I don't even know if this was actually fully functional when we actually did finish the hackathon, but it was done shortly thereafter. But so we can set a limit order and sell this, sell, you know, wrap, we're gonna basically wrap one BTC. That's the collateral required to sell. So it's the underlying of the actual contract. Um, and we're gonna, offered up for 15,000 USDC. Uh, all this is just like test stuff. Um, you can see here, we're going to approve the transaction. And this just basically wrote one contract and then sold one contract. So that, that transaction that I approved really did two things. It first interacted with the Psy Options protocol to uh, lock up one BTC. Uh, the protocol gave back um, a writer token and option token. And then we took that option token and we sold it uh, on the serum order book that was created for this market. Um, and then we also have market, the ability to like market buy and sell. Uh, we'll just buy one here. As long as I don't self trade. Boom. Um, I guess I don't have I kind of I should have done local host right Taylor so I could show um, like how a initial, better. initializing markets would be. Yeah, do you want to just pop that up real quick? Yeah, as long as no one cares. Yeah, if anyone in chat has questions while Tommy pops open his his uh, local development, happy to happy to field some questions. One question we got that I already answered in chat, but just I'll voice it for everyone was, are we planning on launching with just BTC? Uh, so no, uh, it's, un it's unclear exactly what we'll launch with. We'll likely launch with, um, you know, assets that have the most liquid option markets currently. So probably BTC ETH, and then maybe throw a couple of fun ones in there, uh, such as like Solana and things like that. But but we'll probably field, field um thoughts from the community before we make any, you know, t decisions like that. Uh, what are your backgrounds? Uh, so Tommy and I both studied electrical engineering. Uh, and then Tommy did some some hardware um, internships. And I did, I focused mainly on software. And then we both ended up converging uh, onto software. Just, we both like building products and getting things off the ground. And with software, it's, you know, pretty, pretty easy to, to do those things you know, as a solo or, or duo development group. I have many comments on the hardware versus software. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get into it. Say, we'll uh, save that for another time. Yeah. All right, Tommy, show us, because then we're going to have to get you off here after this. Yeah, all right. So the protocol is like very flexible. It really just takes in a bunch of parameters. So like, let's just really quickly check what markets we have already made for uh, June 25th. Okay. So 
it really just takes in uh, as contract size, the underlying asset, the quote asset. Um, some of this is restricted by the UI, um, but it makes it so anyone could really, if you wanted to, if you created a new token and you wanted to create options for it, you could go in and initialize um, a Psy options market for that asset. Um, so I really just created a couple of accounts and actually initialized the market. Um, and now you see here that the June 25th contract size of one BTC over USDC um, is already there. And then the UI allows you to initialize the Sierra market. Um, and then once that's all set up, you have your order book, you have your options um, and people can start using them. Amazing guys. Thank you so much. Can you please put your Twitter and your discord in the on the chat of the Twitch, please, so people can have a place to follow up on what you guys are doing. Definitely. Let me grab a Discord link. Sorry, I lost internet. I'm back. All good. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I'm going to have Norbert join. Cool. Thank Thanks you. for having us.